five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Getting less infected by the day live from New York, it's the Ramble with me, I'm Alex Bennett. And we're here until, uh, let's see here, uh, midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time, okay? How's the, how's the lighting today? Is it okay? Is it all right? Let me, let me just move this over a little bit. There we go. Eh, okay, I don't care. It's, I give up. I'm trying to get a new light over here, uh, but, but, but the company, it broke, and so the company, it's under warranty, and the company said they would get a hold of me and uh, let me know about how, what we're going to do about replacing it, uh, but they haven't yet. <clears throat> but I sent them all the information. So I'm coughing tonight. We have, we have had, I, I read, it is the worst, literally, the worst allergy season ever okay and suppose it gets worse every year but it's pretty terrible this year and uh, uh i my my eyes have been burning all day and it wasn't until i just now when i went on the air that i was coughing a little bit and i'm feeling a little you know <coughs> hmm. it's not the covid I haven't got a temperature I haven't got a temperature so but it is hot in here and i'm trying to get that air conditioning going good it was I had it on, and then it was too cold. So, anyway, uh, first of all, uh, let's go over and uh, let's uh, let's uh, take a look. Hold on a second at the uh, at the map. See what's happening in the world with the coronavirus. Total confirmed in the world now is six million three hundred seventy-seven thousand five hundred and ninety-six, with three hundred and eighty thousand two hundred and five deaths. Up which yesterday only something like 54 of them were in New York State, which is pretty damn good. We kind of went around the curve there, but who knows what's going to happen? Who? What was that? Uh, who knows what's going to happen with this? Uh, excuse me, I have to blow my nose. Uh, and there we go. Uh -huh. Um. Who knows what's going to happen because with all the demonstrations and everything, we could start infecting ourselves again. You know something? This map, I'll tell you, I really like this map because it's done by, uh, um, who is it? Uh, the um, Johns Hopkins University. And it, it's pretty damn good, right? Except this center part just kind of goes you know, along the line. It's all wonky. Let's take a look at the U.S. Uh, we got uh, 1,831,806 cases of coronavirus, of which we have 106,180 deaths, okay? So now we're pushing ourselves way over where we were, okay? Brazil is number two. They've they now got, wow, 555,383 with 31,199 deaths, and they haven't even seen the beginning of it, really. They're in bad shape. Russia is third, uh, and uh, the United Kingdom is fourth. Spain is fifth. Sixth is Italy. Uh, but uh, all the way around, we're, um, we're not doing too well. I'm not going to say much about it. <coughs> Boy, I, I wish I weren't. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm not coughing really so much as I have all this flemminess, which uh, I don't know. I, I, I shouldn't do the show when I'm not feeling well, but I do it anyway. Why? Why? Because I say the show must go on. Let me make sure. Are we on okay? Yeah, we are. All right. Anyway, where are we? First of all, I want to tell you about the other night. The other night we had a show that just sucked. It sucked because I use a thing called Skype. And the reason we've used Skype for so long is because it allows me to do really nice stuff. 
and it, 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 it's not really, well, what happens is, is it, it allows me to do what we call our, our panels. And it allows me to do uh, this. Okay, and then along the side, you know, I put in all the various pictures and stuff. And that's what Skype allows me to do. Now, there is a better system than Skype uh, today. As you all know, you've probably used it yourself. It's called Zoom. And I would use Zoom except that uh, Zoom, I either have to accept the picture Zoom gives me or nothing at all. In other words, I have to take the whole, the whole setup of people talking to each other. Um, this one, I can put people where I want to put them uh, and, and so on. So for my use, Skype is better. It's not the better of the two systems, but it's better. All right? Okay. Uh, so anyway, where were we? Okay. So the other night, I don't know what happens is occasionally they change Skypes on us. They upgraded. Hey, we've done a better Skype than the old Skype. What it is really now is we're playing catch up to Zoom. Uh, but anyway, they, 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 were, they did something. And it made it so that when I answer a call, I try to add them to the group, but they wouldn't necessarily add to the group. And it took me literally 20 minutes to get a citizen panel assembled. Usually a person calls, I click on them, and they're automatically Boom, part of the citizen panel. But something between, what was it? It started on Thursday, this problem. But something between Wednesday and Thursday, they upgraded. And when they did the upgrade, it screwed me over. So what I've done tonight is I, I use a thing called Skype Preview, which puts me a kind of a step ahead of, of what you've got out there. But uh, I figured maybe that was the problem. So I don't know, OK? So what I'm doing is I'm using the standard version of Skype, not Skype preview, but the standard version of Skype. And we shall see if tonight we can get people to be part of the citizen panel, okay? And, we, and see if we can get them on. If we can't get them on within a very short period of time, I've got Zoom ready to go, okay? And if you look at our, uh, the page you might be looking at us on, if you're looking at us on YouTube, uh, it's, uh, it has a thing that says, if we need to use Zoom, the address is, and then you just click on that and you'll be able to call Zoom. But we're not going to go to Zoom yet. We want to see if, if the Skype will work, okay? Uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to uh, do... Uh, uh, um, Zoom, uh, and and we can go over to that very quickly. Okay, so I'm ready to do that if need be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Skype lines and let's just see if we can get people on. Okay, if we can, we'll continue to use Skype. If we can't, fuck Skype. We're going to Zoom. Now I you say why don't you get a hold of people over at Skype and see what the problem is? Try. Try and find a way to talk to anybody at Skype. It's impossible, you know? So, whatever. So anyway, our lines are open in case anybody wants to call. It's a little earlier than I normally have people call. So um, I'm just gonna sit here twiddling my thumbs and waiting, because tonight is the night that we, okay, here comes Charles Wallace. Okay, now Charlie should come on okay. Come on. R right, Charlie? Hello, Charlie. Hold on a second. We've got to wait for Charlie, his picture to come through. There he is, you see. And uh, as soon as he, uh, he clicks, his, he gets a, a, a picture going. Turn on your... There we go. There's Charlie. Now, we wait for... The, turn down your audio. Yeah, okay. Here comes Jeff. Okay. And Jeff Zeller... Nope, nothing. Oh, wait a minute. No, we got we got Jeff. Wow. Wow. Well, maybe maybe using this other one works. You know. Um, uh, uh, let me see here. Let me let me go here and let me put Jeff in here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Jeff goes there. Okay. 
Okay, Jeff. Pum? Okay. Hey, hey, Jeff, how are you? I not, couldn't believe it. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not using the preview. I'm using just the regular Skype. So maybe, maybe that will solve the problem. I don't know. Uh, you know, last night we did a, a special show uh, over on uh, Facebook using Zoom, which really works well. I mean, it just, it's terrific. But it's not as useful as, as this is to me. Let me see. That's Brian Neary just called, and I accepted him. But he didn't come through. Wait a minute. Well, let's, let's, uh, cabinet live star. Oh, yeah, no, here, here he comes. There we go. We got him. Okay. I'm the guinea pig, I think, right? So, <laughs> Br Brian Neary. If it works for me, it works for anybody. Let's see. Br Brian Neary. Okay. Is that it? Let's see here. There he is, folks. There's Brian. Well, what do you know? We got it working tonight. It'll work for anybody then if I can get on. Huh? Yeah. Hello. Oh. Yeah. That's the ball and chain, is it? <laughs> no, no, she just she just got home from working a lot of COVID and stuff at work. So she's been working some long, long hours trying to get everything out for, uh, for a lot of stuff. So she's doing good work. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I have something to show people. Um, you know, we are, as you know, in the midst of a curfew. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you can keep her on. She looks better than you do. Yes. You know. <laughs> uh, she looks better than you do. Let me see. There's Phil. And, and we got Phil coming in. All we right. Got we, got, we got it working, folks. We got it working. Uh, and it's only because I'm using, I'm not using the um, Skype preview. So, you know. But yeah. I had, believe me, I had Zoom ready to go. So, what have you. But last night we used Zoom, and um, it worked out pretty well, didn't it, uh, Brian? Yeah. You know, yep. but... but when I, could get my, I had my uh, audio was off, but yeah, we're good. Yeah, let me nice see here. pictures. Hold on a second. I, I got to... What? what? What is that? I don't know. Can I hang up? Is, is that ringing? Is that, yeah. It is. I'll let me hang up. Oh, okay. <coughs> hmm. Let me see here. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll put in yeah. Phil. Let's really see here. Really clear pictures on Zoom. Really clear. Very clear. Come on, yeah. Phil. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're you're there, but you're not showing up on the. No picture. No picture. Your your well, your picture is showing up on our little thing on our screeny thing. But it's not, uh, it's not, uh, not on the Skype itself. You want me to flip the camera? It, it, it flip the camera on and off, see what happens. Mm, do, 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 do. There you go. Okay. All right. That was, that was it. Well, so far, so far, so good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I got to, I got to put uh, Charlene in there. <clears throat> and she will go in in the number five place, but it's a question if I can find her. And I think she's this one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see here. Uh, there we go. There's there's Charlene, and uh, I guess I'm not going to be able to use um, Zoom tonight. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just I'm just as happy we got this working. You're right, though, Brian. The Zoom looks, the picture looks great. If anybody wants to see what the show's look, the show look, yeah. looked like last night, just go over to Facebook and look at it, and it looks great. But you'll see that I can't do things like, well, I'm going to show you folks something that I've set up. This is, this is really silly. <clears throat> As you know, we're under quarantine uh, here. Um, huh? curfew we're under curfew and if i do this here's our curfew cam looking out the window in the other room i got this set up uh, so you can see it now the reason there the cars are not allowed to be traveling below 96th street 
We're above 96th Street, so that's why you will see a car go by every now and then. But I don't think you really see any people out on the street, do we? I'm trying to see. Do we see anybody out there? I think they're all on the Manhattan Bridge, uh, Alex. Are they? Why are they mm -hmm. at the Manhattan Bridge? In Brooklyn. I don't know. They're uh, trying to get them out, you know, to go away because the curfew is over. You know, it was 8 o'clock and it's now The 10 curfew something. isn't over. The curfew is on. Yeah, and they're trying to, like, get them out, but they have some uh, violence again a little bit. But mm -hmm. Remember oh, they're, last go they're going over yes. the Manhattan Bridge. Well, Yesterday I said 11 o'clock was too late, remember? Right, right. Yeah, well, tonight they decided to make it 8. Yeah, right. I, talked, I talked to Cuomo. Yeah, so, <laughs> so they're closing Macy's early. Uh, yeah, huh? right. They <laughs> devastated Macy's. My God, I used to work there. Oh, at, my God, they devastated Macy's. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. At Macy's, there's a looter's uh, sale going mm -hmm. right now yeah. till midnight. Yeah. They <clears throat> trashed the place. I can't believe that. No miracle on 34th Street this year, maybe. <laughs> no, no. They have, they, have, they have organized baseball across the street in the baseball fields. It must be practice or something, but they have maybe about... 25 or 30 kids out there playing baseball with their coaches. Really? Yeah. Are they wearing masks? Helmets. Helmets. Yeah. Thank God they're wearing the helmets. We, they, they usually have soccer like one or two times during the week. They have a lot of stuff going on. This is the first time I've seen people out there. They're, yeah. Yeah, they're actually playing a simulated game or something. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 I go uh, yell at them, curfew time! <laughs> I'll show you, what I, <laughs> show you what I can do here. I can actually put the curfew cam um, on here. Uh, let me see here. There, uh, let me see here. Let me go back to you guys and see the curfew cam, everybody, is down there mm -hmm. in the bottom. So, there's a car there. Yeah, yeah. So there's our curfew cam. We'll have that as part of the picture tonight. Anyway. Um, <laughs> boy, all of a sudden I started <laughs> coughing just before I went on the air. I've been... No, no temperature or anything like that. So that's not the it's not the corona, and I'm breathing fine, but got a tickle in the throat all of a sudden. Uh, a lot of a lot of <clears throat> stuff out there. Well, I hate it when that happens. Yeah. See if I can last <laughs> the show. Um, yeah, uh, it it's really it's amazing um, all the things we've been going through here. <coughs> <coughs> God bless it. Hmm. The I, first step of the COVID. Well, yeah, it probably <laughs> is, actually. No, Where's you your coffee tonight? No coffee? I have it right here. Oh. But it doesn't seem to be helping at all. Charlotte said that just like a New Yorker. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Yeah. yeah. They, the first time I had seen the... Who is he? Is he the, the head of the police? He was on Cuomo today. Uh, mm -hmm. What's that guy's name? Mm, what is that guy's name? Mm -hmm. yeah. He was the head of the state troopers, I think. Yeah, it was he. Yeah, yeah. He seems like a typical head of cop New Yorker. Same mm -hmm. with the police and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a certain cop essence that exists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think it has to do with the fact that they hang with each other a lot. Mm -hmm. And so they rub off on each other and become this... Mm -hmm kind of semi-culture in a way mm -hmm. uh, like and that so movie, they have, cop they, land? they have cop speak you know they and they they just have a way of talking to each other am i right <laughs> phil yeah i'm not wrong when i say that am i yeah there, there is although um i I'm, i was on this retired police officers uh facebook page group mm -hmm. and uh for the first time that i and being a cop i was embarrassed to uh, to see the postings that were on this group. Matter of fact, I even uh, I, I got off the group. I I, uh, I got rid of them. I said, you know what? They someone posted a picture of a woman that got hit in the head with uh, in the in the forehead with a rubber bullet. And uh, there's 14,000 members of this retired site. Uh, uh, site. And it can be verified to be on it. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, 
uh, they were saying things like, well, if you're going to go out and protest, uh, you know, that's 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 the price you're going to pay. Uh, you know, uh, tough. You know, she got what she deserved. Uh, who a man or woman uh, posted on this thing? And so I said, you know, I said if her head was turned uh, a slightly to one side and she got hit in the temple, that would have been murder. And uh, I couldn't believe the amount of people that were vicious. They were worse than Gabnet viewers on your <laughs> chat. Uh, you know, and, you know, I said, uh, you know, there's no excuse for hitting someone in the head. And they said, well, these bullets, you, they're not as accurate. I said, well, if you can't be sure of your shot, you don't take it. It's, it's very simple. And so... After maybe six or seven retorts and four or five people just just being uh, animals, yeah. uh, I cut the group out and said, "Screw this! I don't need this." But my one of the last things I said was, "You embarrass me for the first time, uh, being a police officer. That yeah. my my brothers would post this kind of garbage, and you're the mob. This this is the mob, and." You're as bad as the people that are throwing bricks. What is this the new Phil? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I want to know, Alex, if this is the new Phil, would you take the knee out there, oh, Phil, the I way that the cops are taking the knee? No. Huh? If I took the knee, I couldn't get back up. But, You'd hold the no, Bible, right? You'd hold the Bible. The, the only difference, I, I have been this way since day one. I have never changed, but I, <laughs> I, was, I was embarrassed. And I was offended uh, by the the attitude of these guys. And I, you know what I said was, I said I'm really glad you guys are retired and not active. Really? Because yeah. uh, you guys embarrass me. And well, those are the guys I've been encountering my whole life. Uh, well, these guys are retired. You know, they wouldn't say this if they were on the job, but uh, you know. They still feel it. You know, uh, I have treat us that way. I, I, I have a guy who's black. He's got dreadlocks and, and the whole thing. He worked for me. And, uh, you know, he was in the store today. And I said to him, I said, do you, you know, you live in Oakland. Do you ever feel in fear of, of police? And, you know, he said no. But he did say a couple of things that made me take pause. And, and he said, well, you know, if they pull me over, they, they don't really, you know, bust my chops or anything. They, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty cool with me. I said, yeah, but why'd they pull you over? He says, well, they asked if we had guns or drugs. And I said, did they have a reason to ask you if you had guns or drugs? He said, no. And I said, well, that's not right. They got to have a reason. And uh, I wouldn't do it if, uh, if, you know, I wouldn't pull somebody over and and ask them if they have guns or drugs if I had no probable cause for it. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it just made me take pause that people would have this kind of crappy attitude, especially people that, you know, 20, 30 years uh, did a job that, uh, you know, you have to be a professional. And I said, you guys aren't professionals. Hey, you know? Rob, how are you? Welcome to the new Phil. That's not, no, yeah, Phil, that's always not, been this kind of Phil. <laughs> that's why we're friends. No, I understand, Phil. It, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I imagine, uh, it, at times I've been embarrassed by people in my profession. Not, It's not as serious as when you're questioning your, people in your profession, or in the in your alleged profession, uh, <laughs> that, that, um, uh, that I get upset, too by certain things that they would do or not do or whatever. So, I mean, I understand. I mean, it, it, and it's good you feel that way, you know? Yeah. You're not uh -huh. taking the dogmatic police approach that everybody's wrong in this matter. You know? I did the police, re uh, the proper police approach, which is, uh, you know, have probable cause. Don't don't act like this. You're, you're acting like, like thugs. And punks, the same way that the people are acting on the street that are throwing rocks and bricks. Yeah. You know, there, yeah, there's no just, difference. And just remember, those guys were very influential bringing up the next generation of police, too. So hopefully that keeps dissipating or, or you know, no, the, less and less that they're being trained like that. The new know? generation of police uh, have been uh, uh, neutered. 
they're they're afraid to do anything, and the bad guys know it. That's why they're burning down precincts, and that's why they're looting because they know no one's going to stop them. Yeah, uh, Charlie. Um, so comp sense song during all of this uh, protesting didn't seem scared to do things. I saw this these people just standing there quietly, not even moving, and a car drives by with cops in it, and he just sprays uh, pepper spray all over everybody. They weren't doing anything. They weren't rioting. They weren't smashing any windows. They just sprayed pepper spray. You know, and there was like ten year old girl that got sprayed pepper spray in the fur face. You think she was rioting? Did you see that in person, or did you see it on video? They the video is all over the, the internet. Well, I understand. It's just that as a photographer, I know I can take a picture from an angle and show you whatever. And they I have many hats, Phil. Go ahead. <laughs> and and uh, you know the the thing is, just believe none of what you see yeah. and what you hear and half of what you see, uh, because uh, what you're seeing is filtered. Uh, the way the there's enough of it out there to know that it's going on. I think that what we're seeing, Phil. I mean, the, the stuff that we see. It, it, I know what you're saying, Phil, because it, it's always been said that the trouble with television coverage of stuff is that <clears throat> it's shooting in a well. In those days, it was a square picture, but now it's a rectangular picture, mm -hmm. and whatever is on this side of it and that side of it, you're not seeing, and that may contribute to the tone of what's going on. But yeah. in the case of, for instance, uh, uh, Floyd being uh, literally choked to death, uh, it's pretty obvious what's going on. You don't have to see either side of the picture to see what's going on. Yeah, uh, but I think that the uh, cop that did it, uh, I don't know, Shervan, mm. uh, I, I think Chauvin. It, yeah, Chauvin. He, he had a screw loose. I mean, if he's on the guy... And he has one of his hands in his pocket. Three on the guy. I understand. There's three guys on that. The guy has his foot and the guy uh, his knee in the guy's neck. He had his other hand in his pocket. Now I've tried to control uh, someone while I'm arresting them and had them down on the ground. And believe me, I didn't have any of my hands in my pocket. Uh, sometimes you had to protect your gun, but on on for the most part. Uh, if you can have your hand in your pocket, you had control, plus there were three other guys there. The guy was in cuffs. There was no, at the point that you have uh, a person down or a person gives up, you must stop uh, what you're doing and, and go into a different mode, which is get them up, dust them off, put them in the car, and book them. Wasn't, uh, he, wasn't he already handcuffed? Yeah, he yeah. was be handcuffed. So this cop either had a screw loose... Uh, or uh, he had a mental breakdown at that moment. Uh, and I think that he's going to have a defense, which is called temporary insanity. And I think that the guy was insane. Why would, why would he freeze in that position for eight minutes with his knee in the guy's neck and not listen to anything or anybody? Uh, I have a feeling that this guy, there's something wrong. Uh, now, it'd be unfortunate for him to get away with it, what about his record? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what about his record? You have to take his record into account. Yeah, yeah well, who are, you, who are you going to put in jail for that? Who are you going to put in jail for letting him still be a cop after 18 complaints? That's a, that's a really good question. You know, the, the mayor of Minneapolis is, uh, you know, I think at fault. Uh, I think the police department. Well, yeah, but how there, long has he been a mayor? He hasn't been a mayor as long as this guy's yeah. been a cop. Isn't no. there a commission or something that regulates all the police, right? They must go through some kind of process. Yeah, I, hey, I got hauled up in front of IA once. Uh, what happened was it was a nice night. I, I was pulling down the street. Mm -hmm. There was four or five guys standing up against the garage door, and I said, hey, boys, how you doing? And they said, hey, we're fine. Two seconds after that, some guy came out of the bushes uh, with a weapon and we ran after him, at, uh, myself and the partner that I had in the car, and uh, we, we got into a house and got the guy down in his living room and, and arrested him. Well, uh, what happened was there was a complaint lodged, and someone said that I said boys. And so they interviewed the four or five guys that were over at the garage door, and they said, no, he was just being friendly and nice. There was no, there was no racial, no, no, no thing. So I, I was brought up in front of IA, but I was cleared. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, Charlene. 
Well, do, do you know, Phil, that uh, the uh, Floyd and the uh, cop Chauvin were bouncers together at a club? So I don't know, you know, I'm not going to make wild conjecture, but, you know, we have to wait and see if we, well, I, I'm sure we're going to hear well, a lot to begin, about the trial To begin with, I don't know what that has to do. I don't know Maybe what, I, Charlene, I don't, Charlene, I don't know what that has to do with this. Because well, they're saying I, they knew one another. Well, I, I, the thing I, is, the thing you. is that, uh, who, who, who worked as a bouncer? Uh, uh, Chauvin and Floyd. Floyd, and Chauvin. And Floyd. Well, they he knew worked, each other. Uh, yeah, yeah, worked at a club together. I thought you. I thought you meant. I thought you meant a couple of cops knew each other, and usually cops side uh, uh, moonlight as bouncers many times. You know, mm -hmm. they no, make they a lot of money. The guys. Yeah. The cop and the uh, and the guy that he was arresting. They had known each other. Let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you. Let me let me let me tell you what's uh, bothering me. Uh, and um, uh, thank you, by the way. Uh, 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 I believe, were you with us last night, Rob? See, I'm kind no. of, no. Uh, Wait, last night was Monday, right? I know, I did a, a FaceTime. It was an a awesome show. Uh, I did a Facebook. Shecky was on, right? Yeah, I did a Facebook show. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but anyway, um, the uh, last night I, 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 I alluded to this, but I, I, I really think it's true, Okay. Uh, it has been said that if this thing goes on into the election time, these demonstrations, riots, whatever, that it's going to help Donald Trump get reelected. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, I think, wait a minute, let me finish. Let me finish, Phil. I don't think this is lost on anybody, especially Donald Trump. Uh, all of a sudden, he's going after a Tifa, or what's it? What's it called? Uh, yeah, Antifa. Antifa. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that? Antifa. Uh, mm -hmm. You tell uh, me. It's almost an imaginary organization. Okay. Yeah. Um, it is being used as a scapegoat by Donald Trump. That uh, oh, it's Antifa, and we're, we're going to. Call it a terrorist organization. Well, to begin with, you can't call Americans a terrorist organization. You can't treat them that way. You can what say a, they're criminal. Who uh, well, up the Boro Building in Oklahoma? Is he a terrorist? Timothy, me. Yeah. Technically, he, he's he, not a terrorist he, organization. He's not a terrorist organization. Domestic terrorist. Those those guys up in the mountains, uh, you know that uh, they're terrorists. What about all the Trump supporters uh, when they were bombing CNN and they were, put, you know, are those terrorists? You can't put that on them. Uh, you don't know that. Well, me. I'm putting oh, this. Well, let me let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying, and it's going to drive <laughs> Phil up a tree. I think <laughs> Donald Trump is inciting some of these actions and attributing them to Antifa. Uh, he is. Uh, he knows that if he can get enough discord going on in this country like this and lawlessness that he might get he this could get him reelected because he's not going to get reelected on what he did with the covid virus mm -hmm. um, so i think he's got people out there operating and mm -hmm. creating distress in order to make him look better i it, think tim has gotten to you no i i have i have a somewhat proof that this is true. Like rocks that are being delivered no, and the bricks that are being delivered. Bricks are being delivered, yeah. I, I believe there's a brick delivery system that they have, yeah. And, and bottles like, with accelerants in them and uh, Yeah, and well, so they, you, you distribute those. You go down to the Antifa store and you can get them there. <laughs> yeah, and you can get them at a discount on Gabnet, too. Yeah, uh, Charlie. The store. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember the 1968 riots during the Democratic Convention. But it was proven that there were undercover cops instigating the violence during those those riots. The cops were actually starting the violence so that yes. the cops could then come in and bash heads. Mm -hmm. In 1776, Charlie, they were dumping tea into Boston Harbor, and it was Trump supporters that were dumping the tea. Uh, you know, anyway, anyway enough, enough of the joke. I'm trying to be serious about this. I honestly think Me too. that our president has... Uh, conspiratorial agents working, mm -hmm. doing this stuff to create no to create dissension and rioting in the cities, 
and he's blaming it on Antifa. Now, do you think mm-hmm. it's anti? Do you think Antifa is doing anything, Phil? Yeah. Uh huh. They don't exist. That's not an organization. Yeah, they don't exist to begin with. Uh, let me tell you what Antifa is. It's an organization that's been around since what the 1800s, maybe uh, 19. And and uh, uh, they were they were against uh, fascism, Nazism, the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, they're against all the things we're against. Okay. But somehow mm-hmm. he has singled these peop out, people out as the imaginary enemy that mm-hmm. is causing these problems. I mm-hmm. want to show you something. This is a, uh, uh, an actual, you, you, I, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it immediately because uh, I'm going to put it up here. Uh, this is a tweet from Antifa America. Mm. Okay. It says, alert, tonight's the night, comrades. Tonight we say, fuck the city, and we move into the residential areas, the white hoods, and we take what's ours. Black Lives Matters, M-A-T-E-R-S, fuck America, and that is from Antifa America. Uh, That is a tweet that was taken off by Twitter. And you know why it was taken off by Twitter? It was found that it was put up by right-wing groups. Oh, boy. I'm sure there's disinformation everywhere. Uh, You know, uh, there's Russian bots that give you disinformation because they're trying to sow discord. And they're doing a very, very good job, even on the people that are sitting here tonight. Mm -hmm. I see. Anyway, the point is, and I think we have to to think this uh, very seriously, this president is going to benefit from this rioting from these mm-hmm. demonstrations because uh, all the white people and uh, the white people in America are going to be so frightened. Oh, please, President Trump, save us. Now, I want to ask you, how it goes embar- on that long, hmm? then it's proven that he can't save anybody. How it'll, about that thought? I mean, could you imagine if we have that kind of rioting going on until November? I don't right. think it's going to. He would be ineffective. No, there's going to be a plague right after the riots, another plague, but this will be locusts. You know, uh, the, the, Trump and, and these riots will be over in a day or two. If these governors don't act and, uh, and uh, allow the police forces, like in New York, the police force could handle it, but de Blasio is telling the police force to stand down. No, he's so, not. No, he's not. Oh, yeah. I, 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 Phil, I, I'm following I this every Cuomo day. Said. It, yeah, that's what he said. He was in, uh, that he he uh, he's thinking about overriding the mayor. Yes, because the mayor wasn't effective at getting them to go in there. But he he wasn't saying that he was going to hold the police down, Phil. Yeah, he says don't arrest people. No, he didn't say that. They arrested well, f- what? How many did they arrest last night? Four hundred, something like that. Huh? Or, uh, it was two hundred. Four hundred. Uh, you know what's happening is the the. People, the rioters, whether you want to call them Antifa or you want to call them something else, but they are rioters and they're looters and they're doing destruction. Well, wait a minute. Is the difference between rioting and looting? No, you can protest, and there's a difference no. between protest Phil, and rioting. Phil, you know, you know why people riot? Because yeah, you won't they, listen to them. Get away with because it. you won't listen to them. But rioting is far different than looting. I mean, looting is just wholesale theft okay yeah yeah looting is theft. rioting is frustration well you have plenty of people that want peaceful uh I, b- bullshit on peaceful you know you know what peaceful gets you in america bupkis bupkis it doesn't get you anything am i right charlie so some poor bastard that uh, built his life making up a sewing shop or something and gets it burned down and his and his life and his and his uh, ability to support his family is over. Phil, that, you're using you're it, using well, an extreme. Okay, but what about if they uh, burn down Walmart? Yeah. Well, they're they're Well, what if they burn them. down Walmart? Well, that's the fat people have nowhere to go. No, Phil, what about Walmart? You know, yeah, what a, yeah, I feel sorry for the small shop owner. Small shop owner is probably going to be out of business anyway because of the coronavirus situation. So maybe getting his place torched, he can get the insurance money where the other way he couldn't. Yes, yes, Charlie. 
Sure, Colin hope. Kaepernick tried to peacefully protest. Look where it got him. Oh, let's look at this. That was your peaceful protest. Oh, is that an Amber Alert? That's an Amber Alert saying, everybody, go indoors. It's oh, past oh, curfew. Wow. Curfew? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a citywide curfew in effect at 8 p.m. I'm sorry, it's already 8 p.m. <laughs> I, I'm going to go shopping. Uh, uh, but, uh, I, you know, I get a little tired of these people saying things like, well, you know, we got we to gotta really uh, you, you, you do it peacefully. And you go, why? You know, what what is doing it peacefully get you? Uh, you know, it does. It it never got anybody mm -hmm. anything. The, the 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 blacks in America did not make any real advances until the whites felt threatened. Mm -hmm. okay. Wasn't it Martin Luther King that uh, advocated peaceful protest? Yes, mm -hmm. and it was. But I didn't and like him. Many changes. I didn't. Mind. I didn't like him. I my guy. My guy was Malcolm X, who said the only thing Americans violence. understand is violence. If you, well, don't, if you don't get violent towards them, they don't understand. Well, they also understand voting. And, and that's the way you make changes in this country. If you want change, you go to the polls and you vote. Oh, that's Phil. the way you get heard. Yes, Phil. Yes. But you've got people, you've got a guy running for president right now that's got... 40 years in, 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 in government, yeah, eight look, years look. as a vice president, and what has he done? Nothing. He talked today like a president should. Yeah, yeah. That's what he did. Yeah, yeah. they wound him up. Huh? Yeah. They wound him up, and uh, yeah. they, they, a little cord yeah. in, behind his back. Well, believe me, it, yeah. looked, a, it, looked, a little, it looked a lot more presidential than Trump did yesterday, holding that fucking Bible up in front of a church. Upside down. It, and it was upside uh, down. down Bible. You get pissed off when a guy holds a Bible, but you don't get pissed off when people burn the church down. You know? Phil, the person who runs that church didn't like what Trump did yesterday. She and said, they, she said, true, she said, we don't get pissed off when people burn a church down. That is a fucking lie. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, Trump stood up and did what he could mm -hmm. to uh, protect it and to protect it in the future so that they don't bomb Wait, it again. Oh, he was protecting it? Yeah, now he how, is. How is, yeah, how is he, he moved those crowds out. Oh, oh yeah. And, no, uh, he moved those well, crowds out. Wait a minute, Phil, 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 you're, Phil, Phil, you're, 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 you're completely wrong. He, they move the crowds out using tear gas and right. and shock and uh, shock grenades or whatever they call those things, so the mm -hmm. president and his little pals could walk across the street to the church for the photo op with the Bible. Yes, I'm sure it was a okay. message. Okay, Ke was, Kevin, uh, got something to say about this? No, you just said it. Yeah, and then he went to another. He went to another church, right? He went to another church. Yeah, he went to a Catholic church today and did the same thing in front of the the archbishop, and they got pissed yeah. off as well. Mm -hmm. The bishop, the bishop was on CNN, and she said, "Why didn't he come three or and four the, days ago?" Way, it was the, his uh, archbishop of like Washington, that, was, I think, so he, uh, said he you didn't don't see like any of this as, poli as politics, huh, Phil. And uh, uh, did photo did. ops, you know, absolute politics. Some of it's politics. But mm -hmm. on the other hand, that's all politics. Because you have to uh, make a showing to show the people that uh, would do the harm only and danger reason, to Phil. People, the only that reason that Trump went over to that church yesterday was to prove to people that he had the guts to walk across the street because for three days he had been cowering in the bunker <laughs> like a little Hitler. <laughs> Make them go in the bunker when those things happen. You know, it wasn't cowering. Um, uh, you know, if Phil, anybody's cowering, they weren't at the front. Do they weren't at. The, they weren't at the front door, Phil. Well, he's not supposed to. He was to be a easy. little. He was. It, I, all I could think when they said he was in his bunker, I thought so was Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody said that Obama left that bump bunker dirty and without uh, provisions. Yeah, well, yeah, there was well, no gold leaf on the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> when did Obama ever go no into the bunker? Paper. There was no toilet paper. They took it all. When did Obama ever go in the bunker? He I didn't. Guess. That's why it was dirty. It's been there for probably since uh, Bush was there. He yeah, been Bush didn't. was probably the last I one. Would say, I would say if you look at the toilet seat, it's probably got some of Reagan's dookie on it. 
Yeah. Probably. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, but I mean that the, the, him standing there holding that Bible Backwards. is about as awkward as him coming down the escalator. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Well, or having toilet paper on his shoe and then too. Making them <laughs> making others get in the picture. By the way, the, according to the the polls, and the polls are done by. Uh, uh, in some cases, Fox and people like that. Uh, Biden has a double-digit lead over Trump right now. Yeah, well, I saw a poll today, uh, and I don't know who did it, uh, that there was a 1.4% difference between the two candidates uh, when you take into consideration the... Uh, Stupidity. Or, no, the, uh, the, the um, uh, margin of error. Was that a Fox... Uh, I'm not sure. I was watching. I bet you it was Rasmussen. Uh, it could have been Fox. I, I'm not sure. I think it was. They, probably, I bet you it was Rasmussen. Uh, I don't think they mentioned. If they mentioned it, I wasn't listening close enough. To. Yeah. I think today when I saw I saw Biden, and yeah, I'm not a big Biden fan. You know, I uh, he was, isn't my idea of a good time either. Uh, but I got to tell you, I watched him today. And he was pretty damn good. You know. He was trying to look presidential, and he didn't have to play presidential. He did a very nice job of doing it. Did you see it, Rob? Did you see Biden at all? Today? I saw a sound bite. Yeah, yeah. Very. He was, I thought he was very, very good. What did you think, Charlie? Yeah, this part I heard, he sounded pretty good. Mm-hmm. Brian? Yeah, yeah and, and like I said before, even if he's propped up and somebody's writing it for him and all that stuff, that's what I want in Biden. I don't, like you say, Alex, I, I don't think he's the all-star candidate for us, but I think that he's going to have the right people in place and telling him the right things to do, and he's going to make those correct decisions. Yeah. 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 And he's saying things that will help tamp the violence down, whereas <laughs> Trump is saying things that escalates it. Exactly. Well, I mean, yesterday that speech he gave about, he's, he's, he's giving a speech and he's saying, and I'm going to bring order to America, and I want to protect you, the Americans, and, and protect you and keep you from harm. Uh, somebody wrote that speech for him, obviously, because as a psychopath he is, sociopath he is, he couldn't write it himself. And he reads that, and while he's reading that, the very people he says he's protecting are being tear gassed. And these aren't the, the, these aren't the riot- bangs are going off in the yeah. background. Yeah, That's these, what I'm yeah. These aren't uh, um, these weren't people who were rioting. These are people who were just standing there, just standing there, and they got tear gassed because they had to make sure they didn't get anywhere near the president while Mr. Braveheart walked across the street. Now they How claim can... they claim there was no tear gas. It was all smoke bombs, but there was there was some uh, pepper spray sprayed. I know that. Yeah, and pushing yeah. a lot of pushing. How how come they don't use fire hoses anymore like they do still in Europe? Oh, they shit. use these. Uh, they, they, bring they, that they, up. Water or can- German shepherds. They they use them in. Uh, but they, they use do, they use water cannons. Well, yeah, in well, Europe. Well, 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 Rob, pretty, Rob was They use fire it. hoses in uh, in uh, New Orleans for uh, Mardi Gras at midnight when it's over. I was on the street when they came down the street. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they clean the street That's, off. Yeah, man, you better not be in the path. I had no idea they were coming, and all of a sudden, you have the, the fire truck going down the street, and guys with hoses on either side spraying down everything. You ran for your yeah, life. Yeah, <laughs> but isn't there a little bit of a 1968 stigma to that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I you don't know, you know, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, I so far as the as the as the looting is concerned, I, and and uh, Cuomo said it today. He said, "You have to separate demonstrating from looting. You have to, de- you know, you can't lump them all like the president is doing into one giant ball of grief." Um, the fact is that these people. Uh, who are looting are, are doing an entirely different thing. They're, they're going in and stealing, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, they, they locked down Walnut Creek. I live in a you know a, a residential yeah, kind well, of. I, town. I, 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 I couldn't understand why they were doing that. Uh, they they looted stores. They broke in. I know it. I truck. saw it. Uh, Walnut Creek is not a place you'd even think about demonstrations going on, let alone looting. Yeah, you know, you you think it's like the safest place. It's like Peyton Place, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, you know, I, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. To put a little different spin on this, I mm -hmm. was watching a lot of the news coverage this afternoon, and I don't understand the difference between all of these people together and a sporting event. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, why is it that we can't have sporting events now when everybody is mm -hmm. oh, on top right. of each well, other? Well, 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 it's because it's not org. It's 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 not a organized sanction type thing they're just doing it well, so then what we could expect here in two weeks time is oh, probably yeah. Not oh yeah good news oh yeah exactly absolutely exactly. Oh, exactly right. it, it depends uh, it depends it depends on where uh cuomo said please everybody try and still keep the safe distancing please wear a mask he said, we That's have happening. taken the curve and brought it down to where there were only something like 175 new cases in New York State but yesterday. Wait a minute, let, me, fin let me finish what he was saying. He said, because it is that low, we may be lucky in that there are not enough people out there to infect other people, so at least keep your distance, at least try to do it. He said, we don't know whether we've done, if we've done our job, it may not crop up again because of the of the of the, uh, the demonstrations but we don't know but in states where it's running rampant it's going to get worse yeah did you did you see the the memes coming out though uh they have uh trump holding uh like stormy daniels uh dvd instead of the bible <laughs> <laughs> Well, he didn't know how to hold the Bible. He, <laughs> no. he, he, like his foreign he held it upside down and backwards. Surprised he and, didn't right. combust. To begin with, I mean, I don't know who's advising him. He probably doesn't listen to anybody. He probably invents this all himself. But if yeah, I... I think they said it was him that thought of it. Yeah, well... He's a brilliant man. Let me tell you something. He's playing right to his base. He's doing everything he needs. Absolutely. Yeah, but you don't go out there with the Bible. That's, the, as I said, that's the same as coming down the escalator or even who was it that ran up, was windsurfing and lost the election because of the windsurfing video? A long time ago. You know, but you well, don't put yourself in those awkward positions, you know. What? Somebody make a meme of the Trump with the Bible and change the uh, face of the Bible to Mein Kampf. That that's that's the next one that's coming. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just surprised that he held that Bible and didn't burst into flames. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, somebody somebody asked, "Is that your Bible?" He said, "It's a Bible." Mm -hmm. You don't have a Bible. He doesn't no. own a Bible. He said, it's a Bible. Yeah. Come on. Bible. Uh, it he says, doesn't seem like the biblical. Look, type it either. says Holly Bible on it. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. a playboy. He was a he was a guy who had a lot of women. A playboy, who is a, a player up until right after his current wife gave birth, didn't give a crap that he's got a new ba newborn in the house, and he's out there fucking around. This is a guy who carries a Bible. Yeah, does now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He does now. Well, I'm because glad the uh, governor smart. of uh, the governor of Illinois spoke up on the call the other day. Was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah. He spoke up and told him, "We're he, tired of your rhetoric." You're Basically, he turned around and said, "Well, I'm tired of you." He, he, well, he, he, no, but that was a neener neener moment. You know, like, well, yeah. you, I am. So are you. You know. Yeah. Uh, how many cops were injured in Chicago yesterday? I think it was 133. Uh, during the riots, I don't think the governor there is doing such a good job. Well, there was a hundred. Why uh, is he going to go out and stop people from going after the cops? What what, what, what can the gov what can the governor do? They, they work for him. Yeah, but what can the governor do? He can give them if the people ability. are rioting and there are bricks being thrown and they get in the way of those bricks. What's he going to do? What can he possibly do, Phil? You're trying to blame the wrong person. You know what this is? Let me explain. Let me explain what is happening here. First of all, we had 95 days of staying at home. All of a sudden, it gets sunny. People would love to get outdoors. They do a little bit down in the Ozarks because they're missing teeth. They all go swimming with each other, you know. It, it, it was just harder to keep them indoors. Then all of a sudden this happens. If this had happened in the dead of winter, do you think we'd be having the demonstrations we're having right now? No. Do you, think if, cards, do you yes. think if we didn't have uh, 95 days of staying at home, the people would come out for this sort of thing? 
There, exactly. this is this is the frustration of that boiling out into this, which is not bad because this is a worthy cause. Okay, but some people are saying that with the hundred degree heat, there may the riots may stop. And, and what about the unemployment too? You have a lot of people that don't, don't need to go to work on Monday, right? Yeah. So what else have they got to do? They go shopping. Well, at what Macy's. I'm saying no. is, you have the perfect storm here. That this was a lot of this is happening. You say, well, why we had the coronavirus and now this? Well, one is not necessarily exclusive of the other. You know. Yep. So, that, how, how about you, Jeff? You've been quiet tonight. I'm terrified of what's going on in New York because mm -hmm. I have a son there in Brooklyn. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. And uh, I know he's just hanging out inside and not getting out, but yeah. ultimately he's got to get out, right? Last all my friends in New York are going crazy. They said uh, it's like helicopters all night and noise yeah. and bullets. Well, I and live fire. in I live in yeah. Harlem, and I told Marjorie how remarkably quiet it is here. That mm -hmm. most of most of the not a lot of action. The looting is happening there. downtown. Mm -hmm. It's not happening here. Uh, this neighborhood's been pretty quiet, all things told. And let me look at the uh, picture here. Um, well, you see the car. They're just cars on the street. You don't see any people walking across the street. That's our curfew cam, by the way, folks, mm -hmm. so, which is being transmitted from the other room, and I'm dangling a, a camera out the window. There's two looters driving down the street uh, in your cam. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, they've got headlights, and uh, they're, they're looking to loot. Mm. Well, I, I had a great day today. I got up in the morning and I went to work at 7:30. Uh, I went out to my car and there was a gash in the in the driver's door, and a note from the building super who said, "I'm sorry, I uh, slipped and I dropped an appliance and and the dolly uh, fell down and hit your door." And uh, nice guy. I mean, I wouldn't do anything to make his life miserable. But uh, then on the way home tonight. I get a flat tire, except I get the flat tire just as I'm pulling into my uh, garage. So I had to call AAA, and they came out and changed the tire. This this was, you know, it started with with a with a door ding, and it ended with a flat tire. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because we needed to add some excitement to this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when when will it stop? You know. <laughs> <laughs> the the memes keep going. So I am a bit of a the, scare the board, this weekend. My board, brother wait, calls wait, me. Wait. My mom is ninety, just turned ninety May, in, wow. in May. Good for me. And um, my brother calls me and says, um, "My mother fell, broke her arm, and she broke oh, her. Boy. What do they call this bone here? Ulna, oh, uh, humerus, the oh, femur or something. The humerus, like humerus, humor, whatever. Yeah. They, humor. She broke the top part here." And uh, they rushed her to the hospital. And uh, while she was in the hospital, they tested her for coronavirus, and they said she had coronavirus. Oh, hmm. no, really? Yes. Exactly. Right. Is she got oh, symptoms. Oh, my God. She had no symptoms. So maybe she's asymptomatic and just has the... At 90? Yeah. Not? Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, wasn't there well, somebody that was 100 that... Uh, yeah. And... Uh, and was asymptomatic, really? Mm -hmm. So, um, how else is her health though? Is her health? She's been healthy before. No problem. Well, she's got dementia, so she doesn't have a clue as to what's going on with any of this, right? Yeah. There's no clue. Mm -hmm. um, and so, we get this scare, and now we're you, know, you can't go visit her. You can't. My brother mm -hmm. lives a mile from where she is. Can't go to the hospital to see her. Can't do anything. Um, they, they said that uh, we're going to retest her in two days. So they kept her in the hospital in the coronavirus ward. Quarantine. Um, yes. And uh, then they retested her. She tested negative. Yes. Those, and then they tested wrong. Again. Those tests have, they, there's some question about the efficacy of those tests. Of, uh, am I right, yeah, Brian? Well, they're, that they're, they're... That's what they've done with my mom. They've tested her um, going on three times now. You know, they sent her finally sent her back to the home telling her that uh, you know after the they said we're going to test her one more time if she comes back negative we'll keep her for 24 hours and then we're going to send her home and that's what they did they sent her back to her place 
But now you got two weeks where you think, well, shit, she was in a room with Corona. Uh, supposedly she was in a room with people who were getting over Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan would like this. I've been watching TV and they've been advertised. Abbott has been advertising their testing thing and they've been running commercials like every half hour for the uh, for the Abbott tests. And uh, I have figured out that Abbott and my Abbott, Pillow Abbott. Are, are in cahoots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what, what does that say about we're get, we're all getting ready to go back to work and for where I live, not a big deal. Right. But in cities where you're going to get people being tested all the time and the reliability of these tests is spotty. That's why say, Brian says his test is, what, 98 uh, percent? Yeah. And it's you only have to wait 45 minutes, and the tests that you wait five minutes aren't anywhere near as uh, accurate. They must be yeah. extremely expensive. I don't know. Brian, what do you charge, 995 I say. Act now. Act now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, well, the, I the, sensitivity, together. the sensitivity and the accuracy are the two biggest things that we look at. We're 99% on both of those. And that's not coming from our, our things. Those are coming from, from other, other... Independent. Yeah. yeah, Abbott and Roche. I mean, you know, it's like, what, you, you want to drive a Prius to San Francisco or a Ferrari, and you don't want to get there fast, uh, waste a lot of gas, or, you know, Prius, you get there slower, and you'll get, you know, you're not going to... As much of gas, and that's how it is. Fifteen minute test is great, but how? What's the accuracy? You hear what Fauci said today? He said that there'll be thousands, or well, how much did he say? Anybody hear that? I, I don't remember the comment, but he said by the start of 2021, there will be a ton of COVID-19 um, uh, vaccines available. He gave a number. I don't remember what the number was. Well, Except they'll come up with COVID-20, and the 19 won't be needed any longer. 19.2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? One thing is scary. I think is, you know, this didn't touch our food supply, which is, you know, that would be like the most devastating thing, you know. So we don't know how bad this can get the next time, but pretty scary stuff. Well, all I know is I have. To, I'm still ordering from Costco through uh, my wife uh, today. Uh, Instacart. My went my wife went there today. I mean, she's not we're not in New York City. Yeah. But she actually spent about an hour in Costco today. She goes like about once a month now. Mm -hmm. Instacart is like double the price of everything. We used it the one time. So if you buy a ten dollar the steaks, we bought the ribeye steaks. If I were there, I wouldn't have bought them, but she did. The four steaks that come in that big, you know, they're nice steaks yeah. and ribeyes. Eighty bucks. Yeah, wow. but it's it's all pretty expensive right now. Uh, wow. Because I because I've talked because Marjorie Marjorie went up to Stu Leonard's, went up to Stu Leonard's, and she usually brings me back a couple of steaks or whatever. She said I didn't buy them. She says the prices on the steaks were just extraordinary. You so, know why I I, I, w I did it or I, she did it, but I was like, well, okay, we haven't we ate out we've eaten out once in this entire time. Mm -hmm. So if it costs me twenty bucks for a steak, it's going to cost me more for more than that at a restaurant. But what I'm saying is, is that they, they, the meat is costing more. I yeah. find that really they're not charging me that much more for everything else at Costco using Instacart. Uh, the only thing is, is the charges that they charge you. But <clears throat> I spend, uh, I spend what uh, uh, twenty bucks back and forth for just a cab. So that mm -hmm. pretty much starts taking up mm -hmm. a lot of the price I would have paid for. Yeah. So I'm, I'm maybe paying 15 bucks more, and that's about it. But that's the true. problem I is, uh, like, I ordered uh, Clorox. Um, uh, for, not Clorox bleach, but the Clorox for colors or whatever, because Marjorie wanted it. And they charged me for it, but it didn't come. So, But I, again, I got a hold of Instacart. I said it didn't come, and they went, okay, we're taking it off your bill. You know, there's no question. You know, I think I know why Costco hasn't been looted. Uh, the the looters don't have membership cards. I think they have been looted. Oh, they in yeah. some places, yeah, yeah. But they don't have windows and stuff like that. I mean, they got roll up doors. Yeah, I mean, it's a little it, bit more it, secure, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's pretty hard for they people do. to get in there. It's always that way. There's no windows. That's right, and there's somebody there at every entrance. And there's, some, you know, those people work all around the clock. They have people who, like, as my wife was looking into maybe going to work there, they have shifts around the clock. There was always people in there stocking, 
bringing you know pallets and doing stuff so they don't just close there's always somebody working yeah but uh, so i'm you know uh, but um um so we're, we're you know i'm just saying that i think that everything we're facing right now are all interlinked with each other mm-hmm. uh, and and yeah um the whole uh, the whole united states is kind of screwed up right now i suppose yeah and you know, and while I'm not going to excuse looting, I, I will defend rioting, okay? But I'm not going to defend looting. But if I had to make any kind of defense of, about looting, it would be that in this economy and the way things are right now, I can understand it more than in times where things are okay. All right. Mm-hmm. But I don't think these, these these people are looting indiscriminately. As I said last <clears throat> night on television, somebody's reporting, and this guy is running behind them with a with a wooden chair, you know. But and you know that it was stolen because it was like a wooden chair that had no varnish on it or anything. It was just brand new, you know. Uh, and I'm going, you 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 went into a place to loot, and the best you could come up with is a fucking chair. You know, if you're going to go to that much trouble, you know, a 55-inch TV set might be a good idea. I saw people going, running out with TV sets. People were carrying sneakers, didn't matter what size, uh, uh, clothes, and they're and they're throwing it into their trunk, and you could see the license the license plate, plate. on the, on the <laughs> trunk. They're going to get all these people. I really hope yeah, so. Yeah, but they're, they're, the trouble is, we're all wearing masks. <laughs> Doesn't matter if, they, like you said, if they have a license plate. Yeah. 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 They're gonna. Yeah, get they, 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 had, they had a shot of that that store, and yeah, sure enough, this car pulls up, and you just clearly see the plate and everything. Yeah. yeah. So funny. And I'm uh, telling my wife, I go, if, they, if only half of the cops get, you know, those license plates, I told her I'd go along there with the video camera and just take pictures of people, and then go down to the police department and say, here's yeah. my phone. They yeah. don't want it, and you know, you might get hit over the head, so you definitely don't want to be there. We we saw the we saw like those hanger you know the whole the whole things on wheels. We yeah. saw one guy running down the street. Rolling racks. Oh, that's rolling racks. Like, yeah. Wasn't that Seventh that, Avenue? Yeah, the, yeah you see uh, that yeah. garden yeah. district. They get the they get their <laughs> right. shopping carts and everything. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, those guys were working. That was Seventh Avenue in the clothing. Right. I remember. They that. didn't return the carts racks. either. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, uh, let's see. I, I uh, talked. We talked to Tony last night. And he said he hasn't heard about the hat store being looted yet. I think he's, he's isn't he rooting for that? I think he was, yeah. 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 I don't think anybody wants hats. Yeah, no, I mean people would go in there and go, I don't want any of this shit. <laughs> this is Chinese the first stuff. with that. You know. They want to raid Nike and all that stuff, yeah. But you know, also our president is doing everything he can to divert our attention. You know, he brings up China. Okay, we're back to China again. Uh, what what else was he doing the other day that he was bringing up? There's anything he can throw against the wall and hope it sticks that will make divert your attention from what a crappy job he's doing of this pandemic. You know? This is not over. This pandemic. This. Oh no. Rear its ugly head again, no. and the riots will settle down. It's it's over. They got a new a new. Deal. You're right. You know, I, I you told know, you in a text the other night. I hope you. I will be the first one to say to you, Phil. I was wrong, but yeah. I hope that's the case. I do not believe it for one hot. Second. Contra Costa County opened up today uh, tomorrow. All retail. Uh, shop. Doesn't mean anything. What's changed since the day we closed everything? Nothing. Okay, so that's what I mean. You think this just ran its course and it's gonna. It's just saying, okay, see you, United States. We're, I'm out of here. We Maybe caused a havoc. An overreaction, like Trump said. No, it wasn't an overreaction, wow. Phil. If it was an overreaction, uh, our no. numbers in New York State would not have gone down because we took aggressive action, the people well, we and the governor and the powers that be, to bring it down. In states where they didn't, it's going up, Phil. I so don't Y2K tell me. Yeah. was the end of businesses planning for shit that could go wrong and governments planning for shit that could go wrong because everybody really planned for Y2K. I lost three years of data. I 
Well, okay, you did, right? Yeah. But I worked. I, I started in IT. I left television in '97, and I, my first three years in IT, I spent a lot of time working at a company where we were making companies Y2K compliant. Remember the Y2K compliance and all that stuff, yeah. right? So Y2K comes that that night at midnight. Everybody sat there with their fingers in their ears waiting for something to happen. Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. And everybody said, ah, oh, it's a whole bunch of hooey. It was a hoax, but it, it wasn't a hoax it, because you did something about it. it. Right. Is there a preacher that said that the world was coming to an end? Oh, uh, and how many times have oh, preachers yeah. said that? Yeah, it, just in 2008, the guy that runs family radio, whatever. Yeah, he, there was some preacher. He had a, he had a billboard. Uh, yeah, yeah that's the guy that runs family radio. Uh, oh, oh no! I like that guy. Uh, uh, D, uh, D, Doc D something. Doc, uh, his name starts with a D or ends with a D. No, I know. Is he runs a group of radio stations, and he predicted like in 2008 the world was coming to an end. He had all of his listeners believe in it, and it was a, a different guy because uh, 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 something in the family or something is the guy I think you're thinking of, but I don't think that's the guy that said the world's coming to an end. Oh but, no, he did. Yeah. <laughs> We were in and then Vegas. he sold everything, and he got in. He was a mess. He, his life was a mess after that. Yeah. yeah. We were in Vegas. My friends yeah. and I. We went to Vegas. We're in a strip club. We said if everything goes crazy, at least we're in the right spot. We want to there be. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'm surprised. How are they going to open up the casinos uh, with 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 distancing and all of that stuff? You it's know, Disney World. Yeah. Well, they opened it, didn't they? No, Disney, not yet. Uh, not yet. One of those things is open uh, in oh. Europe, I think, or someplace else. Not oh, not Hong Kong, Disney Hong, Hong Kong, Kong, maybe okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I got a questionnaire from them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got a questionnaire from Universal. Mm -hmm. They were they asked it was like a twenty minute thing that they asked me to. I I never fill this stuff out, but this was fascinating, right? Yeah. So I took the, the quiz and they were asking, would you come to the park if you had to have your temperature taken? Would you come to the park if there was social distancing and you had to wear a mask and you had this mm -hmm. and you had that and all these different things? And it, they kept, how, how, how about if you came to a park and you couldn't go up to a kiosk to order food? Instead, there had to be an app and the food was delivered mm -hmm. to you. And I mean, they just went on and on. They're looking for ways to change what happens in these parks. I don't I see how they could have a successful uh, thing with uh, so few people uh, because, you know, it costs a lot of money to run those parks and there's a lot of employees. Uh, you know, you've got to have a lot of heads at the door to, uh, to, to make any money. And I tell you, the last time I went to one of those things, I think it was Animal Kingdom or something in Orlando, uh, it, it was packed. People everywhere screaming and crying, kids. I would never go to those places. They could take my temperature all day long. I, I'm not going. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but it'd be nice if it was Wait a lot less the, crowded. <laughs> what if those rides? It was, uh, uh, two They're going to schedule. Which, they're talking about scheduling rides so you would have an app when you come in and yeah. you would show up for the ride when your turn was there. You, there'd be no lines anymore. Yeah. They're pretty much doing that now, but um, they, it'd be nice if it was less of a, you know, <clears> wait. They do that now. I mean, you you got apps now. My kid was just down in Disneyland yeah. last summer, uh, about six months ago, actually, just before all this stuff hit. And that's what they do. They You schedule your rides. You basically sit in your hotel and schedule your rides. Smart. Yeah, but yeah. how do you clean the ride in between people? From I don't know. They're damn, they they not do that. Sit in the seats. and Maybe yeah. they'll do some research and they'll figure out that when the sun hits the rides... Is that, <laughs> no, I'll give you a that the, that the uh, you, have you know to drink Lysol the before I, you go on it. So if you launch, the, then you launch in Lysol. Yeah. <laughs> I was well, talking to Apple. <laughs> well, I was on the phone with Apple tonight because my wife got a new Apple Watch and I, we were having some issues with an app on it and I wanted to get their help. And while I was waiting for the, the watch to do its thing, I was talking to her. I said, "Are you working from home?" She says, "No, I'm I'm working in an Apple building." I said, "Really?" She said, "Yeah." And they've changed everything here. We have plexi; they have cubes, and they have plexiglass all around them. Yeah. And they have to, when they leave that area, they must wear a mask. They're not allowed to linger or move. You know, they they have very very specific rules about where they can go, what they can do, and they must be wearing a mask at all times in the facility. Um, she said, but it's uh, 
it's working. Well, the, the, the break room cool. must be a living hell then. That's what, the biggest challenge. What, what, why do the people that work in the, on the helpline have to be in the facility? Why couldn't that they? That's a good question. I, I, you I didn't know. Get to ask her that, but I, I was like, really? Why couldn't you do your job at home? And the, the question, because I told her I work from home, and she said, I would love that, but we we have to be here. Were they in Cupertino or Houston or where? I didn't ask her where her what facility she was in. Because they uh, paid a lot of money for that building. I'm sure they want to shove people into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my friend, my friend, uh, well, a guy at work used to work there. And he says, in the UFO, you could, you could stand up and you look and you see all the way across the building because they yeah. have low profile. All the complex rooms are glass. So it's just like you see forever. That was it their big well, thing. I, I brought, I, uh, uh, open I, concept. I brought this up uh, last night and let me just mention it here because we only have about eight minutes left. In all of this, there has been one wonderful, heartening moment, and that was the space shot the other day. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, it, it just, for at least a little while, I felt good. You mm -hmm. know? Um, yeah. When he got to the, uh, to the, uh, the International Station, uh, and you know they got greeted by the other astronauts. Uh, it was uh, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, 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 sure was. But watching that whole thing, uh, uh, yeah, and you can go back online, everybody, and 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 see a uh, uh, distillation of it. There's a tour they do inside the capsule, and uh, you know you see them showing up there in the docks and. Then uh, they crawl out through their little hole into the into the uh, space station, and it's just it made me just say, "Gee, you know there was a, there was an episode. I don't know if you ever saw a show called Sports Night. No, uh, but there was an episode in which they're covering this guy who's climbing to the top of Mount Everest, and then he's watching it. The the head of the guy who runs the show is watching it on the screen." With some guys like a street guy he picked up, and they're both watching it together in awe at what this guy <laughs> is doing by getting to the top of Mount Everest. And he then the last line of the show was it was written by Aaron Sorkin. Gee, look what we can do. And that's how I felt about this once again. Was look, you know, I I mean I felt wonderful when we went to the moon, but this somehow eclipsed it in my mind because. This was this was technology now running the game, rather than just trying to put something together and send people up in a tin can, and uh, amazing, just amazing. Did you ever read any of the crap that some of these people on your live chat write? No. I think it says I was wanting it to crash. <laughs> What, what kind of low lights you got that right the hell up? said that? Who wrote that? Said that? Oh, yeah, Tyson's Acosta. I was wanting it to crash. Okay, Tyson, goodbye. Time out. Uh, time out. <laughs> you put me on time just got, out. Uh, promoted. Time out. Okay, there we go. You can't write anything for the rest of the show. What up? <laughs> and, and I think they, they, have really good, uh, they have really good shows before the, before the launch. Where they showed all the failures and all the problems and all the testing they had to do, even the abort testing they yeah. had to do. You know, really, yeah. really. I mean, they put a lot of work. Elon Musk put a lot of work into that. Well, they system. do an abort testing because they wanted to make sure that that thing would go away from the rocket. Yeah. Okay, yep. and then it has its own power and could bring it down w with parachutes and so on. You know, yeah. the the rocket came back down and landed yeah, yes. on on a sh uh, was it a ship or a platform they, they've been doing that now for they've been doing that for over a year now i'm, I'm always uh, amazed by that that they, they can do it they could save that rocket they could reuse they it. could probably yeah. do it they could probably do it with the capsule but they're not going to they're going to do a water landing with it but they could yeah. probably do it because they do have the technology to make it do that too but yeah. they, I, well, think they fe I think they feel safer going into the water at this point. Hey, what? You know, you got 54 on your chat? Really? Or, or yeah. your viewer? Wow. No. That's an all time high, isn't it? Or something? I think so. Or... It's close. Yeah. Oh. What did what, what, you say? Jeff, did you say that's something? I said that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, hey, well, so it, it should be. be so the next meme, <laughs> what, what yeah. the next meme has that sign behind Trump. 
saying all the stuff that he said about grabbing the girls in the pussy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Just start kissing them. When you're a star, you can do that. They let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them in the pussy. By you're just T -T. Jealous. <laughs> you're just jealous, Brian. You 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 want to be able to do that, but you know. Uh, it would be wrong of me to say that the only thing that's given me any real solace in all of this demonstrating that's going on out there has anybody watched Katie Tour on MSNBC? Yeah. <laughs> huh? No. You, you know what I'm talking yeah. about, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. Would, would I be improper by saying, what a rack? Yeah. There, there's, She's there's still trying to get rid of that baby it, rack. It, it, oh. Yeah, she doesn't have to. Yeah. Looks fine. Now, who's the other one, Chris, Chris uh, that works at night? Chris, uh, God, I can't remember her name, the blonde at night. Jansing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Who's that really good-looking English gal on Fox Nation who's on Fox every once in a while? I don't care. We don't watch We Fox. have no what? idea. We don't anyway, watch Fox. <laughs> Lara, somebody? I, oh. I, I refuse to allow myself to get a boner watching Fox, okay? <laughs> Try anyway. There would be something wrong with that, getting a boner watching Fox. You have the sound down. Yeah. 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 But <laughs> Katie Tour, my God. I mean, she and she. and it's not like she's being demure about it. I mean, she's, am I right, Kevin? Yeah, the, the, the sweaters are real tight. Yeah, she had a kid about a year ago, and I think that was some baby stuff there, but she, they she's haven't not. haven't shrunk yet. She's not fat. She's, no. she, she's looks, she looks great, you know. Uh, and then but Allie. The other, one, the other one that works later, at night, she's been running down the streets with the New York, uh, with the New York crowd, and I noticed that as well, and I'm going, She's, you know, she's combing her hair and everything, looking perfect, going down the street. Well, what I saw with Katie Tour today and I, is that she Disgusting. was wearing just a white top that, you know, was stretchy, okay? <laughs> uh, and then, a little bit later on in the day, she was still out on the street. She was still wearing the same thing, but she had a, a jacket she put on. Now, she didn't carry that jacket, so somebody on her crew was carrying that jacket for her. Producer. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But Katie uh, Tour. So what time is she on? Uh, I may want to watch MSNBC or she's what, what on, is it? She's <laughs> on in the afternoons. Afternoon? Okay. Yeah. She's Usually very, in the she, morning, our time. It, in spite, in, in spite uh, of the fact that she has a wonderful looking torso, uh, she also yeah. happens to be very competent in what she does. She's a very good reporter. You know? I'm not going to listen to the sound. <laughs> yeah, one sure. of them was a Katie Tour who used to work for the Republicans. That was a Republican at one time, or is that one of no, the? No, you're thinking people? of uh, Wallace, uh, Nicole Wallace. Nicole Wallace, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, somebody wrote uh, Lara Logan. Uh, uh, she, they called her a complete moron, but let me tell you something. She she's beautiful. Um, yeah. as she actually, I think, worked for CBS for a while and, uh, yeah, and was in, in Fallujah or somewhere in the middle, yeah. uh, in uh, 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 Iraq, oh. and was captured the, and raped. Well, the one that got me. No, that was in Egypt, I think. And that, what, that was, Egypt, that was yeah. what's yeah. her name? That's not, that, that was Laura Logan, yeah. Laura, uh, yeah. Laura yeah. Logan. Yeah, but uh, 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 <clears throat> there's one woman who works over at NBC by the name of Casey Hunt. Yeah, and and I kept Don't thinking. Mess that up. I I kept thinking if I were working over there, I one time would say. So anyway, Hasey, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Casey, <laughs> I be I bet she got that all the time she was in school. Hi, Hasey, how you doing, Hasey? Yeah, but I anyway. actually recorded recorded her once making that mistake. Oh, but, Not that, but making the c word mistake. Yeah. Now, what the hell? If you can touch them there, you can say it, too. Yeah. Well, whatever. Anyway, hey, that's it for tonight. Yeah, I've been kind of quiet because my eyes have been burning, and I've got these allergies. Jeez almighty, will it never stop? Tomorrow's supposed to get better. Anyway, hey, thank you, uh, Jeff, and thank you to Brian Neary, and thank you to Phil Meyer and to Charlene Martinez and to Charlie Wallace and to Rob Alfano and, of course, to our good friend Kevin and, of course, uh, to our uh, curfew cam that's out there right now. 
Anyway, I want you all to give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizen panel for tonight. And what do you know? Skype worked flawlessly tonight. Oh, my God. I'm glad it worked flawlessly. Anyway, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection, uh, and so you want to stay tuned for that. Uh, tomorrow night... Uh, is another day in uh, in Wonderland here. Who knows what's going to happen with this uh, democracy of ours, or our alleged democracy, our illusionary democracy? I'm just stalling because I looked and I still got another 45 seconds to go here. But I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. And uh, listen, if there's a curfew out there, go by it because it'll give the police a chance to go after the people who are doing something bad. <laughs> And uh, uh, take care of yourself and be safe. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, 10.30 rather, Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>